I'm going to tell you guys right now, heading into game two tonight uh, in Houston, if you're a Houston Rockets fan, I think you need to be very worried about the outcome of to um, tonight's game. Um, I was very disturbed and very appalled about when the media was asking head coach Mike D'Antoni about the isolation ball in game one. Now, they are an isolation team. They led the league, uh, one of the league leaders in isolation plays in the NBA. But they had, I believe, like 45. I believe it was double the isolation plays uh, on average. I believe they had, like, almost 50 isolation plays in game one. Now, they were efficient offensively, but uh, – Defensively, they they couldn't stop a nosebleed, getting beat on backdoor cuts. Uh, guys coming off screens, knocking down jumpers. Uh, no contests on a three point shoot. Clay Thompson was balling. Kevin Durant does what Kevin Durant does. Wherever he gets on the floor, he gets there and he pulls up, and there's nothing you can do about it. He's shooting over anybody. And he's getting to his spots. The problem what I see with Houston, and Mike D'Antoni basically admit that we're not going to change. It's not going to be too much changing. And if and if, if it's not, this is going to be a quick series. It's, it's just that simple. James Harden, and to a degree Chris Paul, but most of this is James Harden. Dribbling the ball and asserting that much energy, you're wearing yourself out on the defensive end. See, this is why people get on James Harden for his lack of defense. Now, James Harden has gotten better this season defensively. I would say that, but it's it is hard for you're asking a guy to spend that much energy on the offensive end, dribble, dribble, crossover, crossover. Step back, dribble, dribble, certain, all the 24-second shot. They had four, I think they had four shot clock violations in game one. I'm watching the game, and I'm sitting back saying, mid, I'm like, I'm probably like midway through the game, I'm saying, if this team does not adjust in any shape or form, they could potentially get swept. And if they lose game two tonight, they're going to get swept. Now, I picked the uh, Warriors in seven, but like I said, man, if this if if they lose tonight, the Rockets, it's, it's over. They're getting swept. It's just no, it's no way it's coming back to Houston for game five. You cannot play that way. You cannot give a great team like the Golden State Warriors the same look over and over and over again, expecting them not to adjust. It's like a pitcher facing a great hitter and keep throwing a 98-mile-an-hour fastball over and over and over. Eventually, that great hitter is going to adapt, and he's going to adjust, and he's going to hit it, and he might hit it out the park. Same thing goes with this. They cannot just continue to ISO, have no player movement. I mean, these guys are basically standing around taking pictures, waiting for this dude, James Harden, to break guys off the dribble and kicking it out. And a lot of these, a lot of these guys know that th- this is what they're going to do, so they're just staying home on the shooters. They're they're, they're saying to themselves, listen, James is going to get his regardless. We'll let James get his. We're not letting the Trevor Reeses, who needs to um, not get in foul trouble again like he did in game one. Uh, Eric Gordon, who has struggled a lot in these playoffs. We're not going to let these other guys, uh, Tucker. We're not going to let these other, Ryan Anderson. We're not going to let these other guys get involved. Chris Paul, we're not going to let these guys beat us. We'll let James get his 30, 40 points. Cool. But eventually he's going to wear down. He's going to get tired. And that's why he had to sit on the bench later in the second half because he was a certain a lot of energy. And like I said, it hurts you. This style that Mike D'Antoni plays, this high pick and roll basketball, is killing them. 
defensively because they're going to go right back at James Harden when he's on the court. Asserting all that energy, possession and possession out, they're going to go right at him defensively, and that's what Golden State Warriors did, man. And Draymond Green set the tone in game one with his uh, flagrant foul, letting know that we see you coming, but you ain't got no match for us. Now, I feel like the the Houston Rockets, they need to play Chris Paul more uh, on the ball more, have him handle the ball a little bit more in game one. I mean, game two, excuse me. They're going to need to get these other guys involved and make them feel more a part of the team. That is very important in basketball. I'm telling you guys, man, when you've got guys standing around watching, taking photos, I mean, I know people say, well, it shouldn't affect your play on the other end. I'm telling you, a lot of times it does. When you know that you're busting your butt and you're trying to uh, battle and you're, and you're fighting hard and you're trying, you're, getting, you're trying to get the loose balls, you're, you're out there trying to defend, and then you get up on the other end on offense, offensively, and you know you're not even going to touch the ball. You're not even going to touch it. That's why they all have that old saying, when a big man plays well defensively and he runs up down that floor and he's in transition, feed that big man that ball, reward him. And another thing about speaking of fast breaks, they didn't get no kind of fast breaks looks at all. It was all half court. So I, I just I just think the Houston Rockets they have a lot of problems right now. And it's just very discouraging that the head coach flat out said, Oh, we are who we are. This is why Mike D'Antoni hasn't won anything as a head coach. Yes, he's had uh, great teams in the past, those Phoenix Suns teams, when they had Nash, Amari Stoudemire, uh, Sean Marion, Joe Johnson, uh, Barbosa, that uh, high pick and roll, fast, up-tempo style. But his offense hasn't, his offense of strategy hasn't adjusted. It hasn't. I mean, you can win some regular season games. It might it, it might get you past the first round, maybe even the second round. But eventually, when I mean, you face those upper echelon teams, those teams that know how to adjust, and those teams that can beat you multitude of ways, Mike D'Antoni has shown that he has no answer for teams like that. So... In my opinion, if they lose, especially if they especially if they get swept, I think the Houston Rockets they need to make a head coaching change because they they're going all in on Golden State. They made it clear, the general managers made it clear that they're going at the Golden State. That's their number one mission is to take down them, to see them, and get past the Western Conference. But if they get swept and get trounced out early, I mean, this is not even a competitive series, and this could potentially be if they don't make some adjustments. Mike, T- Mike D'Antoni <laughs> should get fired as a head coach, in my opinion. Especially if they come out in game two and they do the exact same thing, I mean, literally the exact same thing. And they don't make no adjustments out the series. It's time for him to pack his bags and, and, and go. Because that Mike D'Antoni is not, not going to take them to the promised land, which is winning the championship.